When we were first created in 1944, Jewish communities had very little influence in the United States. They had no convening body, no unified voice or political power. In response to rampant anti-Semitism and the failure to prevent the Holocaust, Jewish organizations came together to form the National Community Relations Advisory Council, later known as JCPA. Charged with safeguarding Jews and promoting a just and pluralistic society by coordinating and building consensus across the Jewish community, actively engaging in American public life and working in common cause with diverse communities. JCPA's immigration work began in 1946 with the fight to repeal the racist national origins quotas which kept out many Jews and other undesirables. JCPA organized a coalition that built up public support until it successfully secured the repeal of the quota system in the landmark Immigration and Nationality Act. By 1950, JCPA was already deeply involved in the fight against racial discrimination and segregation. Convinced that the struggle for civil rights could only be won through coalition, A. Philip Randolph, Arnie Aronson, and Roy Wilkins co-founded the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights as a coordinating body for all civil rights lobbying, modeled after JCPA, which also housed and staffed the Leadership Conference in its early years, including as an organizer of the historic March on Washington. JCPA took to the halls of Congress to fight for and win critical civil rights victories like the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and the Fair Housing Act of 1968. With many of these key legislative and legal battles won, JCPA shifted its focus to working on health care, nutrition, economics, and human rights. JCPA has always been a leader in advocating for Israel, working to advance the peace process. The principal architect of the current peace process, the Honorable Shimon Peres. Convening high-level talks with diplomats, building interfaith support, understanding, and to fight delegitimization. Over the decades, JCPA has been at the forefront of progress in the United States. The causes that we fight for today are the same as they were back then. One out of every three black men you see have a criminal record. One out of every six Latino men have a criminal record. That is something that is a public health crisis. And my organization, the Jewish Council of Public Affairs, is now involved with this work because this is the Jewish community's re-engagement with the modern day civil rights movement, which is the end mass incarceration. They tell me this wasn't politically motivated, but an opportunity to see what's happening firsthand. The group spent time touring local shelters, both on the U.S. and Mexico side. They talked with Border Patrol agents, humanitarian groups, and visited the Mexican consulate to learn the facts. Today, JCPA brings together 16 national agencies and 125 JCRCs to find common ground, build consensus, and mobilize on critical issues facing our nation like white supremacy, anti-Semitism, advocating for Israel, racial justice, poverty, religious liberty, civil and human rights, immigration, and criminal justice reform. We built Jewish unity around a bold policy agenda, amplifying the Jewish voice, working in common cause with other racial, ethnic, and faith groups, and multiplying our collective influence. We are JCPA.